Great. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Uh, good and bad news. I moved to offices since my last video, and I have a lot more windows, which are uh, behind you and around you. But I have a smaller wall space, so I have a smaller whiteboard now. But hopefully this will be able to work. So this is the third video in a series on the game Whack-A-Mole, where managers focus on one problem uh, until it gets resolved, move away to another problem, and that gets fixed. But this one erodes, and then move back and forth, and jump around the organization solving problems, but never creating a stable environment. So last time we uh, put together this half of the stock and flow diagram for one of the loops. And we're going through this process very slowly and drawing the stock and flow and then modeling it in Excel. So what we're going to do in this video is we have the product results eroding. So we did that part of the model. And now we're going to have the product results improving due to management attention. So um, what we'll do over here is we have a flow into the results, so something that improves the results, add to the results, called the product uh, improving. Okay? And... Um, that will do, similar to the product eroding, we'll do on some kind of an improvement rate. So it gets better, and this better might be better quality, better competitiveness, you know, more features, that sort of thing. Let's say a product improves, uh, tw um, actually it's going to vary based on management attention, but it'll end up being a percentage. It might improve 10% a year, or 20% a year, or 30% a year. So we'll do an improvement percent, so product improvement rate, I'll call it. Uh, and that will be multiplied by the product results to yield the increase in the product, uh, the product results. Now, um, and then just to finish this before we model it in Excel, the improvement rate, how much it improves in our whack-a-mole game, depends on how much time management is paying attention to it. So we're going to do uh, management time on product. on P. Okay? So the management time on the product, sorry for the bad handwriting, that's going to drive a product improvement rate, and that's going to drive the product actually improving. Okay? Uh, so you have the product improving because of management time. You have the product eroding, which will happen if, if, um, if sort of nothing, uh, uh, nothing is done. It'll erode to some extent. And uh, and this will basically form the end of our balancing, single balancing loop. Then we'll just copy this to another loop and then connect them together. So the one trick, uh, which I'll explain before I get to Excel, is you need to be able to write formulas for each of these variables. So the product improving is going to be an easy formula. It's the improvement rate times the results is how much the product improves in that period. But the management time on the product and how that affects the product improvement rate is not a intuitive formula. So obviously the more managers focus on something, the more it will improve. The less they focus on it, the less it will improve. So it's some kind of you know, um, positive correlation uh, between the, uh, the two variables. They're, uh, yeah. Okay, so one way to do this is to do a table. At least I always get started with a, uh, with a table. So let me draw it over here. So let's say management time is here, and it's a percentage. So the percent of your time, let's say you as a manager, and then the improvement rate um, that that yields. And so let's just start with an easy table. We can make it more complicated in future uh, videos. But let's say if you spend an average amount of time on this, so 40 to 60 percent, then you're going to get a 20 percent improvement per year. And if you recall, 20 percent was also your erosion rate. So essentially if you spend about half your time on something, you're going to be improving it, it's going to be eroding, but it's going to stay flat. 20 percent improvement, 20 percent erosion, It'll stay flat if that's the amount of time you spend on something. If you spend less than 40%, uh, let's say it doesn't improve at all. Okay, so you kind of ignore, ignore this. There's no new improvement actions that you're putting, uh, putting into this. 
And then let's say if you spend greater than 60%, it improves by 30%. Okay, so more money, more resources, more, more talent, those sorts of things allows it to improve by 30%, the good new things you're doing. Of course, there'll be uh, bad things that happen and accumulate that make it erode. But in this case, the 30% is greater than the 20%. So we'll see when you graph it in Excel that the results do, do improve. So let's just start with a simple table. We can make this more complicated, more of a linear equation perhaps, or some kind of equation that relates time to improvement rate. But starting out with the table is a fine way to get a model, model working. So let's go over to Excel and, uh, and put that in model form, and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. Thanks. Okay, now we're going to model what we did on the board in Excel here. As usual, I put the picture of the model uh, here in Excel so I could uh, remember it as I modeled it. And I also put the table uh, up here. And I'll show you how to turn that table into a formula in, uh, in a minute. So first looking at the model and starting with constants, we have one more constant. Again, a constant is a variable with no arrow coming into it. So the percent of management time on product is a constant. Now, it will not be a constant by the time whack-a-mole is done, but for right now, it is. So we are going to name it like we do all our constants. Management time product. OK, that's a constant. Now, uh, now let's add new variables. We have uh, new flows in. So we have product improvement rate, and we have product improving. Those are new variables you can see from over here. Uh, product improvement rate is dependent on this table. So you take the management time on the product, you look it up in this table, and then you the corresponding row is the improvement rate. So for instance, if you spent 50% of your time on the product, you should have a 20% improvement rate. Okay. So here's how you do this. Um, first of all, you have to redo this table not as free text ranges like I have here, but as real uh, numbers. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, to use a uh, formula called VLOOKUP, you have to have this first column be greater than management time on product. So, and you start with zero. So if the management time on the product is greater than zero, you are going to have zero improvement rate. If it's greater than 40, you're going to have 20% improvement rate. And if it's greater than 60, you're going to have 30%. Okay? So just a slight change in that I almost took basically the minimum of these ranges and put it in this column. Okay? So that's how you convert that into something usable. And then lastly, since we're going to reference this table in a uh, formula, we're going to name it. So same way you name a cell, you name a bunch of cells. So we're going to call this the management time improvement rate table. It's a nice fancy name. OK. So the product improvement rate, the way to use a table is a um, formula called VLOOKUP. And the way it works, just for the 30 second tutorial, is the first thing is, what are you going to look up in the table? We're going to look up this management time on product. What is the name of the table you're going to look up? We're going to look up that. And then what column from that table would you like to return into the cell after I do the lookup? And it's column two. We want to return the improvement rate, which is the second column. OK, looks like that's a zero, but it's really not if you hit percentage. So if we spend 50% of the time on the product, we're going to get a 20% improvement rate. That worked. And just test out your other variables. So if we spend 30%, it should be zero. And it was. If we spend 80%, it should be 30%. And it is. OK? So our formula is correct. Product improving is the product results times the improvement rate. Uh, that's too big of a number. Uh, the improvement rate is a yearly number, and we are doing time in months. So I'm going to divide by 12. So it improves by 1, uh, and it erodes by 1. So the, the new ending product results is really the beginning, plus the inflow minus the outflow, and it becomes 80 again. So our model is done. Let me copy it.
and we'll take a look at its results. Okay, so if you look at this uh, graph down here, you can see the product results don't change. And that's because since we spend 50% of time on the product, we improve it 20% a year, and it erodes 20% a year. So it really nets to nothing. Uh, it started at 80, it ends at 80, because you're improving it and it's eroding at the same rate. So if we spend, um, uh, let's say, 35% of time on the product, it looks like it did before, uh, it just erodes. There's no improvement. Uh, it erodes at 20% a year, so it, it uh, declines, like we saw in the last video. And then if you spend, let's say, 80% of your time on the product, it will improve because um, you're improving at 30%, you're eroding at 20%, so you're basically improving more than you're eroding, so the results will go up, which you can see uh, they do. Okay? So, uh, so that's that's where we are in the modeling process. We have one of the balancing loops basically almost done. Um, and uh, I'll go to the board and just recap, and then, uh, and then we'll need at least one more video to finish uh, Whack-A-Mole. Okay, thanks. Okay, hope that made sense in Excel. We're almost there. So we have um, basically the one balancing loop done around product. We'll do one in the next video around service and we'll show how management time fluctuates between the two balancing loops and therefore creates this kind of whack-a-mole uh, situation. And I'll close, um, maybe this will take me another video, with, with what are the lessons learned as a leader uh, because of this, this kind of scenario. What kind of things can you do to prevent getting caught in this particular trap? So that's it for this video. Enjoy, and I'll talk to you soon.